When talking about robots in warfare, the word that experts use is autonomy. It means giving machines the power to make decisions on their own without any kind of direction from humans. But this isn't a black and white issue. When we talk about autonomous weapons, there is a wide spectrum from basic examples to something that looks like Robocop or the Terminator. But we're not talking about the future. We have autonomous weapons already. We have, you know, a lot of our sea mines, several different kinds of landmines, um, cyber technologies, cyber weapons have the ability to behave autonomously. Um, and then in the realm of, of greater munitions, for instance, we have Israel's uh, Harrop and Harpy, which are anti-radiation missiles. Those systems can be launched and then they will find a signal and then decide, quote unquote, decide uh, to prosecute an attack on that signal. Um, you can put the Patriot missile battery, for instance, for air defenses on fully automatic mode, uh, given rules of engagement or, or particular threats. This might come as a surprise, but it just demonstrates that the idea of what makes a killer robot is not as clear cut or futuristic as we might expect. Nevertheless, there is a whole range of advanced and slightly scary autonomous technologies in development around the world. With China, China is interested in bolstering its land forces, its, its armies. You're going to see them expanding their blue water navy, so you could imagine having more autonomy on ships and submarines. For the Israelis, they are heavily focused on ground-based systems, so things like tanks and Humvees and artillery. Russia also is heavily investing in, in these ground-based systems, so again, tanks and artillery, automated guns and turrets, things like this. The United States is interested in pretty much every single domain. Um, you're looking at the Air Force um, and air base systems, so missiles and planes. The UK is interested as well in, in uh, kind of bolstering autonomous capabilities within its Air Force and its Navy. You can have swarms of missiles, you can have swarms of smaller you know, drones, you can have swarms of boats. The US Navy has demoed swarming boats, uh, unmanned swarming boats for ship defense. It's worth mentioning that not all of these weapons in development are meant to be killer robots, to be capable of deploying lethal force. Some of them are designed for reconnaissance or assistance, for example. But there are some serious weapons being developed out there. And Heather has some worries, especially when it comes to who's doing the developing.